Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is PSOC Unit 1. This is uh, for VTEC 3rd year, 2nd SEM students. So the first uh, unit is uh, Load Flow Studies. Okay. So in this uh, first unit, I'm going to uh, tell you uh, briefly about the, the whole unit, Load Flow Studies. Okay. Please don't skip and watch till the end. You will have an overview of this unit. Okay. You can answer any question uh, if it's given. Okay. So the first question is, what is a load flow or power flow study? What do you mean by this load flow? Okay, the study of various methods of solutions to power system network is known as load flow or power flow study. That means if uh, uh, there are different methods, I mean there are different methods to uh, uh, find uh, the solutions in power systems. Okay, that those different methods to solve any power system network is known as load flow. The study of various methods of solution to power system network is known as load flow. Okay, so this, this solution gives magnitude and phase angle of voltages at all the buses. Power injected at all the buses, line losses and real and reactive power flowing over all the lines and transformers. Okay, so th this is nothing but load flow study means nothing but various methods for um, uh, in a power system network okay so that solution is nothing but it will give about magnitude and phase angle of the voltages at all the buses which are connected okay and also the power injected at all the buses it will give phase angles of voltages and power at all buses okay and also it will give line losses we, 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 we know real and reactive power flowing you no know, all the over all the lines and transformers what are the losses also it will tell you phase angle of voltages and power in the buses along with the line losses remember now it's clear right so see if you draw and see it will be something like this so power flow steady so as i told you magnitude and phase angle of bus voltages sorry and real and reactive power in each line and also line losses initial conditions of the system okay so four conditions uh, uh, this power flow studies is divided into first is magnitude and phase angle of voltages real and reactive power line losses initial conditions of the system next is steps in power flow study okay so first step is representation of a power system by a single line diagram we will represent the power system by single line diagram okay we'll see what is the single line diagram and all in the coming uh, uh, you know video Obtaining impedance diagram, obtaining the non-linear algebraic power flow equations. Next is solving non-linear equations using iterative techniques. That means repetitively we will check and we will solve this non-linear equations. Okay. So first is representation by single line diagram. Next is impedance diagram. Next is obtaining the non-linear algebraic power flow equations. Okay. Next is non-linear uh, uh, solving those equations first we will obtain this non-linear algebraic power flow equations then we'll solve those using iterative techniques clear right first is single line next is impedance diagram non-linear algebraic this will solve by using iterative techniques i hope it's clear hmm. next how are buses classified in load flow analysis we said we will get the voltages and power in the buses right how are these buses classified so it is basically depends upon three types okay it is divided depending on these quantities it's divided into three types first is load bus or pq bus pq's values are nothing but they will be specified next is voltage controlled bus next slack bus or swing bus load bus or pq bus voltage controlled bus slack three buses okay load voltage slack bus pq buses are nothing but p is na real power and q is reactive power okay next quantities associated with each bus in a system are for uh, we said there are three buses right so what are those quantities in those bus if you take quantity of a bus like this like i said p is react real power q is reactive power then we get magnitude also now from that one bus magnitude and phase angle of the voltage is given by delta remember this quantity in a bus okay we have three buses load bus voltage control bus slack bus so in this buses it is divided into four i mean four things are there in a bus that is p is real power 
Q is reactive power, V is magnitude and this is delta phase angle of the voltage. Remember this. Remember this image. Okay. See, the main purpose of this video is that basically you will be reading everything from your textbooks and all right but if you go through these videos you will just have an overview of the complete chapter if you're not having time you're unable to read it you can just see these videos you will have an overview of the complete unit okay something or the other you can answer in your exam if any question is given in this uh, a unit I mean the first question because there's a first unit so you can answer at least use these words reactive power magnitude something or the other at least one or two marks you will surely get okay so please go through these videos for you know just to have a brief uh, view of the units okay thank you